Right, hey, it's Herb Fargus here. I um, just barely got my Retro Pi today, so I'm pretty excited for that. And, oh, not my Retro Pi, it's my Raspberry Pi, but that's what I'm going to be using it for. I'm going to be using it for the Retro Pi. Setting up a video game station for all my childhood dreams stuffed into a little box. So uh, I'm going to put that together and I think I'll show you step by step how that works. So uh, let's get started. All right, so I've got it down here on my table and uh, I think I'm ready to unbox it. So let's see what we've got here. I always love the fancy packaging it comes in. It's got a good static proof box. I nice and break it as it comes out. So this is what comes in. It's a nice a static proof bag. And it keeps it from, uh, from having any static electricity ruin the components. Um, if we open it up. You can see here you've got some uh, USB ports. So right here you've got about four of them. Not focusing very well. And then you've got right here, you've got your Ethernet port. And then over here, this side, you've got your HDMI port. It says right there. Sorry, the lighting's terrible in here. Uh, and then you've got a 3.5mm jack, a couple ports for cameras, audio, and then your 4 dg fire pins. And um, then you also have your little power uh, plug in right there for your micro USB. Um, and then just right back here underneath, can see where your micro SD card comes in and that's where your operating system is held as well as the rest of your information so uh, with mine how I'm going to set up I've got my HDMI cable um, but some people have forgotten all the television can use this HDMI or uh, RCA cables it's a four pole so that's where your audio and video will come from so that one jack goes in there and then I've got uh, USB keyboard and mouse, mostly just for convenience sake, but you don't necessarily have to use those. You can use uh, SSH through your laptop computer, which I'll also be doing when I set up RetroPie. And then I've got a SanDisk 32 gigabyte ultra uh, micro SD card, and that's what I'll be using for mine. I've used a 64 gigabyte SD card as well, which has worked pretty well in the past. Uh, the power supply is, like I said, a micro USB. You can see the tip there. Sorry, I've got really bad focus. Um, but uh, you want to make sure that it's got sufficient amperage. Uh, it's usually 5 volt. Uh, this is a 2 amp. And that has worked me pretty well in the past. Uh, and then I've got myself a game controller. This is a USB ended Nintendo Game, or not GameCube. Uh, wow, I can't remember the games I played as a kid. It's been that long. Uh, N64 controller, so that's that's what I'll be using for some of my games uh, since I'm really excited this newer version uh, looks pretty promising for being able to emulate the Nintendo 64 so the Raspberry Pi is just a microcomputer um, to be able to use to emulate those video games uh, and the distribution I'll be using is called RetroPie it has a bunch of emulators and that's where you put your ROMs on to to play with so I'll talk a little bit about that later as we get started so let's uh, see if we can get started with that